What's up internet? I am here and welcome to Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Now, this is one of my favorite franchises. Like, this has been honestly one of my most favorite franchises of them all. From the greatest... I, I mean, I know a lot of... I, know, I don't even know how to explain it in words. Like, obviously, I know it's been a while since I've done a Let's Play video. So, you know, I'll be a little bit all over the place as I always am. But like so... Let's go ahead and start the video. Oh yes. All right. And I'm, I know I shouldn't make these, oh wait. There must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing on to the end until it be thoroughly finished yields tr the true glory. I probably screwed up on that sentence statement. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna put subtitles on here. I'm here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. <laughs> Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? <laughs> Francis Drake is Houdini. <laughs> Just fucking disappearing from everything. <laughs> you devil. His fucking teeth look really golden in that scene a few seconds ago. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have. Got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that you. Thought. Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Uh, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just point and shoot, right? Good girl. If I'm correct that... Here we go. That gun is like a model from like the Russian pistol? I don't know which type though. How the hell they find us out here? These guys have been telling me for weeks. Oh, I lost them. Yeah, come on. Oh, barrel. Yeah, take that. Take cover. All right. Oh, I remember how they reload. Less talking, more shooting. <laughs> That's probably how my community feels right now. Just like, less talking, more shooting. Less talking, more bang bang. <laughs> Uh, when I say bang bang, it sounds like I'm meaning something completely else. Oh, they're in the water. Coming across me ship. Oh. Oh, wait. Well. Ah, fuck. I'm getting fucking shot. Alright. Come on. Come on. Fast and furious. Alright. Got it. God, I'm missing on those shots. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. Almost. Oh, well. All right, let's... Got it. Ooh, that gives me extra. 
Gives me double the ammo. Feck. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, hurry up, Solly. Hurry up, Solly. I really wouldn't really think much of Panama ever having really any pirates, to be honest. And at the least, wearing eye patches and all this added accessory. Well, but except for this guy. Like, this guy right here, I can see. I mean, it is a hard life out in the seven seas, so take that as you will, I guess. Oh, holy shit! I forgot it has a machine gun. Whoa! <laughs> the fucking guy's dead body just looking at me. Oh... Holy shit! Yeah, come on. Oh shit, it's a amount of bullets. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter! Oh god! Go, go, go. Who? Oh, they are talking, but it's barely mm, hearable. I mean, if you guys can't hear them either, I can't. And I, I understand how that could be upsetting. But I mean, it's an old game. It's got its flaws and... Fundamentals and all that. How's it going, Sully? these voice actors. Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't a beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> uh, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> what do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Wait a minute, that emblem on his arm. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> he fucking said the same thing. Just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Oh, who is that? Oh, uh, Mr. Drake. Jack and Daxter. I think that's what they were called, Jack and Daxter, or something like that. I can't remember. everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But, when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to sign this. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered <laughs> something on that void summit. Something so secret and so valuable they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> a man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh, no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera. No. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. Good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real 
gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't. I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be like? I really find it fascinating here? that this was during a time where it was basically with those air quote brick phones. Ah, uh, this was before before freaking cell phones became a notorious thing nowadays. I remember those days still. Even though I was practically too young to remember, remember I believe. But I mean, just brick phones. God, I remember that s stuff. I know I'm probably talking about the wrong type of phone, but. Oh, hold on, hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, that was different. Although I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> ah, risky move, but... By the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Eh, why waste my breath? <laughs> I do get a feeling like that's a little bit how my viewers feel. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Let's go. All right. I get a feeling like like him just like hold on a minute, kiddo. I'm not as young as young as I used to be. Young as I used to be. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. I wonder if there's something behind this waterfall. I know there's actually collectibles in here, which I'm not really that concerned on getting, but just. I never ever actually climbed up to that waterfall before ever in my playthroughs. You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. I'll be honest with you all. I originally thought Sir Francis Drake was actually Spanish. Yep. And that's because I didn't know anything about him. Like, nothing about him. I still don't even know anything really about him. But I always thought he was Spanish for the longest time. To this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Oh, the goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. I don't know why, but I really, I always really loved Nathan Drake's like appearance and like. A characteristic placement. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I just I really liked his characteristics, along with Sully. It works really well. Ah, uh, I there's probably a bunch of reasons, which I guess while we're walking and talking, oh, this is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. <laughs> Sorry, it took a few minutes to click there. Even though I'm a very dirty man <laughs> with dirty jokes and all that shit. But, I mean. Ooh. Well, now. This is more like it. What do you think this is? Incan? Nah, it's older than that. Like 2,000 years older. Huh. Aliens. <laughs> uh, ooh. This is hollow. Hmm. I think there's the button for me to, like, look. Yeah, here it is. Oh. 
I think I found the way to the hidden entrance. That sounds dirty as shit. <laughs> I think I found. I do declare. I think I found the entrance. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a bit much for a laugh, but I was just thinking of like a Victorian Englishman just understanding sexual ed, education, education. Nothing yet. And just literally just like, I do declare this is the clitoris. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even think we were ever taught sex ed during school. At least now that I remember, we I barely remember any part of that. I don't even think we ever were taught that. I don't know, maybe during high school that was like a separate thing. But it didn't also help that I had a bit of a situation during high school. Which I don't really want to get into, because let's be honest. Like, don't get me wrong, my stories are very interesting, but at the same time I imagine you want me to just press forward with this. Oh shit. Be careful up there. I forgot about some of this shit. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. Ah, I'll, I'll be honest with you right now. I got something in my eye. Ah, fucking stinging like shit. Stinging like shit. You know, saying it's hollow too. It's hollow. We gotta find a way to smash through this. Way ahead of you, Solly. Maybe the reason I like this is because I also enjoy Indiana Jones, which has like the same situation in some ways. Like basically discovering a new culture and or just like explore exploration and all that stuff. I don't know. Alright, let's go. Okay, give me a moment. Uh cut away. One minute thirty seven seconds later. Alright. Let's go then. Maybe I also like this game for its platforming too. If you can really even consider this, I guess, platforming? I mean, I don't I don't know game lingo, so even though I've been playing games for a decent time, even though I'm like 19, I think the earliest I played video games was like nine or ten at least. I don't know. Get down there safely. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> um, huh. I wonder if the developers ever knew about that little thingy thing there. Uh, the flashlights for this one. Mm hmm. Bats. Big old bats. Oh, fucking shine it right on them. Fucking great. centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. <laughs> what the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and... Well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. 
Yeah. I've honestly played this multiple times. The Spaniard sure left a lot of crap behind. And honestly, I still really don't get the meaning to that thing. Like, who knows? Maybe there, it should be more simpler than what I'm thinking of, but... I don't know. Let's see. All's fair in love and war. What if you can't tell the difference? I don't know. Who knows? Let's just go out with a bang. <laughs> and destroy... Careful, Nate. That's quite a drop. How much of it... Mm-hmm. It goes into nothingness. Jeez. Hmm. Oh, there it is. The chain. Go ahead. I'll hold it open. See if you can jam it from the other side. Maybe with these bricks? If these are even bricks, I guess. <laughs> All right, let go. This ought to hold it. Hurry, Sully! Jesus. That was a little too close. Let's hope this place is a back door, huh? Ooh, what's this now? You know, this looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. All right. Yeah, here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? <laughs> I'm so tempted to read all of this, but I think, you know what, you guys can read that if you wish and, and like pause the video, even though I've been pretty fixated on this. I mean, do what you want to do and go where you're going to. I really love that song. I love that song from the Beatles. That That is probably one of my favorite songs. It has a different meaning to me, but it, like, than what they originated, but... I like just the idea of the song. All right. We gotta figure a way to clear this debris. I'm going to say shoot this and do that. Nice. I got a feeling that in the early 2000s there was a lot of like. Like at the beginning of this video, basically, well, not this very beginning, but the video, the game itself, the video game. There's like, it just has that like Discovery Channel beginning of like recording stuff and all that. And also, I'm starting to question if, was it like in the early 2000s? Was like in the early 2000s, like just a lot over like ancient civilizations and all that? Or something like that, I guess? I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no idea. I I remember Ricolette only a few things, but not completely. Uh, Nate, I might have been able to do that 30 years ago. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> well, we'll find a way to help you then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, three in a row. Ugh. I know a lot of you are probably just like, stop pretending you've played this a lot of times. How dare you? And like, I understand, but I should probably make this a little bit entertaining still. All right. Oh, stairs. If I'm correct. Yep. There you go. Oh, there's another. I'm tempted to say brazier, but I don't know why. I don't think this is a brazier. Let's get going. A 
lot of skeletons. Jesus. <laughs> what do you make of this? Wait, I recognize these symbols. Help. The order of these signs has some importance. Alright then. <laughs> Just one, two, three, four. <laughs> good puzzle though. A really good puzzle. Ah, oh, nice to see you on the skeleton faces. What the fuck is he doing? Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. Alright, there's two. Where's one? Over there. Can almost face through the wall. Oh shit. Oh well. Just go the long, the long simple way, I guess. Alright, other ones over there. People during the ancient times were very skilled climbers. I mean, I won't deny to think that that is the truth. Because, I mean, there wasn't really a lot to really do besides, you know, try to survive. wondering did I say stairs at that Pretty beginning deep. yeah looks like there's a ladder cutting to the side wait here while I check it out all right just be careful did I say like stairs a few like in that one section oh stairs I won't be surprised if I did which hey, watch your step down there which I mean isn't that a surprise Alright. What is this? Ooh, skulls on chains. Decorative. Okay, getting somewhere. Let me guess, jumping in there? Now, don't tell me you're gonna swim in that. I've been in worse. Well, here you go. Ooh. All right. I'm really wet. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I know my laugh is all over the place, I will say that, but wow. I have never in my entirety of playing this for all its time because I really like just, I really enjoy this, this game, like the game series, I guess. I mean, at the very most of my opinions on like the, oh fuck, he's stuck in there. Wait, what the fuck shined there? Something shined, I think that's one of the collectibles. Yep. Silver Llama. Oh, hey, an achievement. 
Oh boy. I won't be surprised if that thing will pop up a bunch of times because I went ahead and actually cleaned out my save files on my PlayStation 3 for such recording situations, I guess you can say. Because I really wanted to like consider like just like, alright, let's start anew and we'll just do it all over again and I'll, I'll have like a good time. I'm on the other side! Can you get this open? Yeah, I've got some royal dynamite. Just don't blow it. Oh, I can switch. Okay. Just don't blow it too early. There you go. I killed Solly. Oh, dude. There he is. Just like, I killed Solly. <laughs> Alright. I've got this one. Okay, right, let's do it. Ooh. I wonder how you would even put that stuff together. Especially if it's that deep. I know, somebody's just like, stop criticizing this. I'm like, I'm not actually criticizing this. I'm just, I'm just saying my piece. This looks safe. Well, if we go just slow, we might be fine. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I fucked up! I fucked up! Oh god, go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy shit, holy shit, oh my god! Huh! I made it! I'm okay! Hey, Solly. <sighs> Like we're getting somewhere. After that, we better be. <laughs> oh, looks like something's missing. Something big. <laughs> Curfew. <laughs> I'm terrible. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. A huge gold statue. And look here, these people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the golden man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold, it was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here, the tracks. <laughs> I bet the Spanish dragged it out or cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. I'm actually curious, before I tell my funny joke, uh, are we in Panama? Or is like El Dorado in like Mexico for some reason in my mind, or most likely in s South America? I mean, I, I, you know, what? I'm gonna put a location placement. I think it probably is in like Central America and like the northern part of s South America. But for my joke, I was thinking of like how Sully was saying, like, can you imagine how much that stuff costs now? And all I can think of is just young Indiana Jones from the third, the last crusade, just saying like, it belongs in a museum. <laughs> just something like that. And I understand if my wheezing and my laughter is a bit much. I just, I don't really have a laugh. At least like a consistent one. Stop here. Yeah, it looks like the back wall of the temple was blown out. Yeah. The Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Hmm. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Probably glitched out. Old game, who this? But it still holds up. I'm trying to... I always... And that's something I like to take pride on. I actually try to take care of my CDs really well. Like, I try not to, like, get scratches on them for the most part. Like, even though most of them are pretty much, like, pre-owned games, which 
I will say you would think like, are you sure you want to trust that? And like, I mean, they they work surprisingly well. Like, honestly, really well. Like, I'm actually quite great, grateful, thankful, and grateful <laughs> that that actually is like. Wait, Sully, do you hear that? Sounds like a river. But I'm like grateful and thankful that they have like the oh. There's something you don't see every day. Oh my god. Uh, huh. Alright, I'm gonna finally finish the sentence. I am grateful and thankful that I actually have had the ability to obtain these games. Like these these like make up my enjoyment for like video games like a real big mm, mm, part of it I'll be dead. must have come up the river during flood season got us stuck let's check it out huh yeah wait 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 something about this feels kind of hinky hinky you act like you've never seen a german u-boat in the middle of the jungle before uh, i'm being serious man I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will you? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. All right. Chapter three, the surprising find. All right, well. Let's go check this way. I wonder if there's anything behind there. Mm hmm. Oh, the water actually moves you. That's pretty nice. All right, there's where we need to go. Looks like you're gonna have to monkey across those cliffs to get under the U-boat. Oh yeah, I remember this. All right. I actually can't remember if they had this in like the newer games, like in the second and third one. And yes, I do know that there is a fourth one and theoretically a fifth one called The Lost Legacy. But I will be honest with you, surprisingly as a Uncharted fan, I have actually yet played The Lost Legacy one. And I know what you're thinking like, oh, because Chloe Frazier is the new character, which actually if you guys have never heard anything about this, like the Uncharted thing and just uh, are just seeing it first on my channel. I may have given away a character that will soon show up in the series. But don't worry. I won't try to spoil as much. But I, but honestly for like the... But for the fifth game, I just never had like the time or have given myself the time to actually come and play it. And honestly, since I've now considering this hobby, YouTube hobby situation, I actually might have the chance to actually, you know, get to it. Like honestly, I can see it. Don't know how long it will be until we get there, of course, but you know, patience, patience. And doctors. <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. That's like dad jokes number one. Alright, we're almost there. I will say that my favorite out of the... Alright. I don't know what you would call like a... Group of... Five, but I guess... Like, I actually like the fourth one, but I will say that my most favorites, my most favorites, my most favorite games is just the original trilogy, but that's mainly because they're from the PlayStation 3. And I, and I just mean, I really liked them at that point in time, 
I will say that the fourth one that I actually have played was not that bad. Oh, well, I don't know what they said. Sorry. I'm being a chatterbox. Ooh. Okay. I'm in. What do you see? Something nasty happened to these guys. There's blood everywhere. And soup. What? There's, it's a gore fest. There's blood, meat everywhere. Oh, hey, there's a chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's <a> fucking stupid. <laughs> but I will say that my favorite are the main trilogy. Because when I found out that this, the fourth one, was coming out, I honestly was really irritated that basically it was just like, oh, guess what? We're going to be doing it for the PS4. It's just like, great. <laughs> it's just like... Like, I was lucky that my family was able to buy me a PlayStation 4 at the time, because apparently they were able to get it at a reasonable price. Which was really lucky of me. Like, honestly, I'm happy I got the PlayStation 4. There's so many good games on there, too, that I will hope to record in the future. Looks like he's been fucking slashed the living shit out of like something fucking. Maybe somebody fucking crawled his I face think out. The trail just got warm again. How so? Well, I just met a guy with pockets full of Spanish gold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me? Looks like our German friends had a little secret. Oh shit. God, the complexity of this U boat. Oh, we're in the cruise quarters. Doubt that German money's gonna matter. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it would. No Vexta Incel. Find anything, kid? UK two six four two. UK 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 two six four two. Gotcha. Sully, you're not gonna believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You kidding? It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. I get the map that's gonna lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We better get something out of this trip, huh? Or what? Sully? You there? Sullivan. Just that freaking dead guy just fucking moves his goddamn head. He also got a weird ancient disc on his hat. Hmm. Watch out for the torpedo. That's probably bad. 
Yeah, so let's get the fuck out of here. Who the hell are you? Hey, hey. Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Rupp. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man, this is just business. Get over there. Hey, easy. Put your hands up. All right, Derek. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said. Well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Does he always go on like this? Ah, take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with you, mate. They heard everything. Just give him the man. Slowly. What does a Greek's marine map have to do with El Dorado? What? You think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So, a square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder. Hey, come on, leave him out of here. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with it. 